Oh, I got to spit out my gum. Sorry. I'm like, they would be, you guys would be listening to me chomp on my gum all class long. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Sunday Stretch. Uh, I'm Jen. Today, I've got my stick and a uh, yoga strap and probably blocks, uh, maybe a blanket or something for your knees because we'll probably end up down on the ground. Uh, but let's get started. Um, nice and easy with our stick. Okay, so we're going to start with a little bit of chest opener, just a little bit. So softly bend your knees. Okay, gaze down at your feet, make sure that they're comfortably distanced apart, draw that belly button in. Inhale as you raise the stick up overhead, and then just feel your chest soften as the stick moves slowly behind your head, but we're not skimming or sending it backwards. We're just softly opening the chest and then bring it back around to the front. Now our grip is nice and wide on the stick, as wide as we can make it and soften. Good. Good, and you'll notice the stick is away from the back of my head. I'm, I'm not pushing back. I'm just kind of softening back and opening up nice and gently. One more time. Good, now I want you to go ahead and narrow your grip. So slide it in a little bit and we'll bring it up again, right above the head. And then bring our arms back into a W, squeezing your shoulder blades together and then pressing back up. So like you're skimming the wall behind you, squeeze shoulder blades and press back up. And one more time, exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades, zip the rib cage and press back up and back down. Well, vertigo is somewhat better. <laughs> yeah, if I tip over Michelle, I'll call you. <laughs> Let me know if you're available to do a hit class tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one thing that I'm like more worried about than anything. Okay, so let's continue with the chest opener, staying as gently as we can to begin. So I've got the right palm into the end of the stick and it's coming straight back behind my left hip. And I'm gonna scoop up and over, opening the chest, nice and easy. Softly bend the knees, rise and scoop. Good, bend the knees, rise and scoop. Soften through the chest. Good, and don't strain against this, okay? I want you to just feel that shoulder, my right shoulder releasing. And my left hand is pushing straight back. So as I end, my palm is up toward the ceiling. Good, okay, now we'll bring it back to the front. Left palm on the top of the stick. It's back by my right hip. Scooping back and rising and pressing up and over the left shoulder. Good. I just see flinging sticks everywhere here this morning. Good, nice path, arcing up and over. Excellent, okay. Now we're gonna go from side to side. So again, we'll go back to the right palm at the end of the stick. Nice long grip coming across with the left. And we're gonna go up to the ceiling. Now this one, we have a tendency to wanna really reach in and stress into this position, but I want you to feel like if your right hand's going to the ceiling, just allow that rib cage to open on the right side. Good. Good, take one more. Nicely done. All right, let's go to the left hand on the end of the stick and scoop up, opening the rib cage from the side. Good. 
Any smoking going on this weekend, James? Yes, sir. Really? Oh. Oh, yeah. That sounds really good. Yeah. Like cauliflower rice. <laughs> well, yes. Tofurky. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I've seen that. I admittedly I've done it. No, not particularly. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've done it on the grill and just put like a thin layer of mayonnaise and then went over over the top for fish. Okay, so the stick is behind our hips. Okay, so we're going to start with our hinges. And I want you to keep your palms right at your hips as we go through this. Okay, so soft bend in the knees, nice and relaxed. And we're going to hinge forward. And as we get down into our hinge, our palms again are still at our hips and our palms are up toward the ceiling. And rise. Good. Feel your fingertips extend toward that opposite wall. And just start going with that for just a moment, okay? As we're hinging, we're looking at keeping our neutral spine. So as we get down into our spine parallel to the ground, extend your fingers toward that opposite wall, stay relaxed in the neck, but just start feeling that energy extend toward the opposite wall. Good. And then on our next one, we're gonna pause here, extend those fingertips and start drawing your shoulders back. Think about your shoulders like wings on an airplane. Conversely, what will happen as your shoulders wing back is your chest is going to move toward the ground, okay? And you'll create this shallowness between your shoulder blades. So as we pull together, we wanna use our, our um, middle trapezoids as well as our posterior deltoids to help support that action. Okay, ready? So we're gonna hinge, extend those fingertips and begin to contract through your shoulder blades, drawing together, pulling your shoulders back. And as a result, your chest moves forward and back down and hinge back up. Good, we'll take that one more time. Hinge, find your neutral, extend the fingertips, draw the shoulder blades together, fold the shoulders back, press the heart forward and down. Okay, and the last element on that, assuming that we have those things all together is we're gonna try and contract through the triceps and lift the arms past the hips so our palms are gonna lift toward the ceiling. Okay, and you should feel that in your triceps. Okay, ready? Hinge, find your neutral, extend the fingers, start drawing the shoulder blades together, draw the shoulders together, and then press the palms of your hands up toward the ceiling. Good, okay, come back down. We'll do that one more time. You will find that range of motion is more limited here than when we really try and stretch those front delts. Okay, and that's okay. We can do that as a follow-up just to compare how it feels to um, between those movements. All right, last hinge. Find your torso parallel to the ground, extend your fingers, retract your shoulder blades together, 
pull your shoulders back, lift your chest, and then draw the stick up, up, up with the triceps. And back down. Nicely done. Okay, so now you should begin to feel, you should really feel that work being done between the shoulders. All right, and the last one, we'll just go down and lazily stretch, okay? So we hinge forward and then press that stick up and over the back. Let your head dangle between your legs, relaxing between your shoulder blades, going for big range of motion here, softening through the front of your shoulders as you're able. Good, and bring the stick back to your hips, press through your heels and rise. All right. Ooh. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> she will like that from Tampa. Rude. Oh, let me see. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. So now we're going to head into our split stance work. I'm going to move this ahead a little bit. Okay. So we have a fair amount of variation coming in our split stance work. Some of which, some of these movements you're familiar with because we've done them in a neutral stance. All right. So the first of which we're going to do our lateral flexion. So what the heck is lateral flexion, Jen? Lateral flexion, when we did it from a standing position, um, <clears throat> this is one of James's favorites when we got the seven foot sticks is it's this guy, all right? So, but we're gonna do it from a split stance. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so now the reason why we do split stance work why I love split stance work is because it's a glute strengthener, right? And it's all about the glutes. All right, so I have my right foot forward, left foot is back. Sorry, I have my left foot forward, my right foot is back. My right heel is off the ground. When you have your right foot on the ground, you don't put yourself in quite as much a position of power with your glutes. So always get that heel off of the ground a little bit. Okay, and then you can really find that you're able to activate through that glute much better. Okay, now the stick is in my left hand and it's right, I mean, it's a couple inches behind my heel on that left leg, okay? And I'm gonna extend it away, right? And then I'm gonna take my right hand bent and I'm gonna reach up and over. Now what becomes tricky in this split stance, right? is now I'm in a position where I'm trying to balance in my split stance and I'm forcing my muscles to be active. All right, and come back. Active and balance, but I don't feel very balanced, right? So this is where, but this is good. This is how we get better about balance is when we test ourselves, okay? So we're gonna go two more times, try and hold for three to five seconds, ready, inhale. Exhale, press the stick away, open up the right side. Good, okay, come back. And one more, okay, you're good. I haven't seen anyone topple over yet, so that means we're doing great. Ready, extend and open up. Of course, I'm not speaking for the folks at home, please don't topple over. Good. Yes, do not fall into the Christmas tree, Clark. All right, all right, bring the feet together. Whew. Now, do you feel your glutes, how hard they were working to support your pelvis? That's great. Okay, so now we're gonna switch sides. Okay, so now I'm on the right, right foot forward, left leg back, heel up, stick in my right hand. My grip is below my armpit and extended away, okay? Exhale as that left hand's gonna reach up and over, opening up my right side. 
and I am pressing into that stick for my balance. Good, and come back up. Whew, good, no falling over, nice job. Okay, two more times. Exhale. Now the bigger your stance is, your split, the more challenging from a strength aspect this movement is gonna be. Okay, so just be mindful if you're like, whoa, Jen, this is really hard. Bring your stance in a little bit, okay? All right, last time. And exhale, press away, extend and reach. Remember, we're not exactly reaching for the stick. We're just opening up armpit to hip, lateral flexion. Good, and back to center, bring your feet together, shake them out a little bit. Nice job, okay. Now we're gonna do some spiral work, okay? So I'm back to my left foot. And I'm gonna have this stick in my left hand. Okay, and I'm gonna have it right about at the back of my heel, okay? Now, here's what's gonna happen with our arm work, okay? We're gonna open up, okay? We're used to this one, right? Opening up the chest. But we're gonna, what we're gonna add into that is we're gonna take our right hand and place it on the outside of our knee, and we're gonna press inward as we open up to the back. So we are spiraling at the waist, right? As you press inward at the knee, it's about stretching through the glute, okay? So that's what I want you to focus on. As you add that press into the knee, you're trying to open up that left glute, okay? You ready? So get the hand by the knee, press, and then spiral the stick, take your gaze back, and try and push inwardly on that knee, focusing on stretching through your left butt. Good, come back to center again. We do this about three times on each leg, right? How's your balance, good? <laughs> okay. Spiraling and pressing. Now be mindful of your spiral work, right? As you're opening up the chest, your chest is softening, but the back of that shoulder is helping to pull that shoulder back, okay? So you should feel that muscle activate, helping to pull. Okay, let's go ahead and switch legs. So now we have right leg forward, left leg back, left heel off the ground. Stick is right about at the heel of that right foot, okay? So we have the stick. We're gonna rotate, hand reaches for knee as we spiral and turn and look behind us. We're pressing that knee inward, trying to stretch through that right glute. Good, and back to center. Ready, on the next exhale. Turning, right hand pressing, or left hand pressing into right knee. Just to feel that stretch. Feel that right rear shoulder pulling, 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 aiding in your spiraling spine. Good. Back to center. Good, and one last twist. Good, and back to center. And then press through that heel, bring your feet together. Nice job, good balancing work, folks. Nice. Okay, walk it out just a little bit. Okay, now 
we're gonna have a nice parallel stance, okay? Slightly wider than neutral, okay? Then we're gonna take the stick and put it right in your instep. Okay, yes, James, good, long stick, long stick. Yep, okay, for those of you that don't have the long stick, I want you taking your grip all the way up to the top of your stick and we're gonna reach across and slide down into our hinge, just nice and easy. Feel that stretch across. So my right, left hand's on the top of the stick. So I feel that stretch across my left chest. Even into the glute, good. Long arm, shoulders in parallel. Okay, rise up. Is that good for everybody? <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and take it to the other side. Right in our instep, so it's in my right instep and I've got my right hand on the top of my stick. I'm gonna reach across, slide down. Good, trying to get my arms. One arm reaching for the ceiling, one arm reaching for the ground. Extended with my wingspan. Good, and then come up. Okay, that's our baseline. Everyone felt good in baseline? Okay, good. So let's take it back to the left side of our instep. Hand at the top. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go into that same baseline and then we're gonna start shifting body weight. Okay, now what I want you to think about doing is you shift your body weight, we are not gonna take our knee forward. Okay, we're just, we're gonna take it into our hips, James, right? Just like uh, the golfy stuff we've been looking at this week, right? Yes, so our knee's not gonna jump forward. We're gonna stretch into our hips. So that's where we wanna take this movement as we adjust our weight distribution. Yep, you got it. And then your knees just kind of stay in that same plane, right, that they were in. As, and so you ready? Okay, so the stick is back on my left side, left hand on top into my left instep, soften my knees, reach across and hinge. Okay, so this is my nice baseline. Okay, now I'm shifting over my weight into my right, taking a bend, but don't let your knee jut forward. Stay into your heel. You're gonna get a lot through your back, through your chest, through your sling. Come back to neutral and then shift your weight into the left hip. Left knee bends, but stays back. And here's where you're gonna feel it in the glute. You're gonna have a pretty limited range of motion. Now I'm getting it in my inner thigh on the right. As that leg lengthens and softens. Good. And I'm feeling pretty good. So I'm gonna shift right on back to my right, nice and slow, being aware I'm keeping my knee back. And now my torso is rotating more, weight in my heels. Big stretch through my chest. Good and slowly press through my heel, coming back to center. And then into my left side, keeping my knee back, letting my right leg go soft and open. And then back to center. Okay, press through your heels and rise. Whew. Good, everyone good? Okay, could you feel your knees and that need to keep your weight back so your knees didn't jump forward? Could you sense that? 
like when you would go forward onto the balls of your feet and your knees would jut versus trying to stay in your heels and feeling your glutes extend back a little bit. Could you tell the difference? Ish. Okay. All right. We're going to go to the other side. And because um, now we're on the right in theory, for a lot of us, this is our dominant side. We might feel more in tune with what's going on on this side. So I'll go into it and then I'll walk around and make adjustments a little bit if I see too much knee flexion. Okay. You ready? So your hands on top of the stick. We're going to hinge. Left hand reaches across toward the stick. Knees are softly bent. Good, okay. So now we're gonna slowly shift onto the left leg, keeping the knee back. Good, that grip on that left hand, nice and, nice and firm, but big rotation. There you go, Kathy, good. Good, and then we're slowly pressing through to shift the weight onto the right, releasing off of the left, left leg goes straight. <sighs> Keeping the knee back, good. And then slowly pushing off of the right and we're gonna slide, slide back over to the left, okay. See, good, Michelle. Nicely done. Knee staying back. There you go. You want to try it? Okay. Yep. So you're going to shift over this way toward me. There you go, Anne. Good. That looks great. Good, Kathy. Too much? <laughs> okay, Doug and Lynn, check in with each other. Make sure that knee, you don't have a big angle, a big bent angle. We want that shin to be more above the ankle as opposed to um, ex um, flexing forward dramatically, okay? All right, nice job. That, that particular one, the positioning of it, it's very similar to when we do slap shot, it's just not quite as intense as, snap, as slap shot, right? So now would be a great opportunity for us to take a little slap shot, just a tiny little one, because we're warmed up. Our torso is really warmed up for rotation. So now we're gonna take the stick back behind our hips, palms extending, facing out. Again, feet are wider than our neutral stance. And we're gonna exhale as we hinge down. And I'm gonna take my right hand down toward the ground first. Planting it right below my belly button. Extending my grip so it's nice and long, gazing up toward the ceiling. And yeah, I feel pretty warm already going into this. Good, unplug the stick. Rotate to center, and now I'm gonna turn the other way. So left hand reaches under belly button, plant the stick, and I gaze up over my right shoulder. I'm releasing through my shoulders. If you feel that tension, feel them cascading down toward your back pockets, open through the chest. The gazing up is really good for keeping the blood out of your face too, by the way. <laughs> if you feel like your face is getting really red, gaze up. Good, and we'll rotate back to center and rise. All right, we'll take one more. Okay, we're gonna try and go deeper this. <laughs> try, <laughs> don't topple over the Christmas tree. And we're gonna try and go deeper into our slap shot. Okay, some more twisty. Okay, all right, so exhale, hinging forward, nice and easy. Exhale, right hand goes down toward the ground, past belly button, planting near that left foot as you're able. So bigger rotation, lengthen your arms with the stick. And then as you're able, we can shift that weight, just like we did with that last one. So my right knee is bending, my left leg's extending, but I'm not bending into big flexion. I wanna think 
weight in my heels in torso rotation. And then press through that right foot back to center, disengage the stick from the ground, rotate back to center, and then rotate left hand toward right foot, plant it into the ground, gaze up over your right shoulder, and then start bending that left knee. Center of gravity is into your heel, right leg extends. Good, and then press back up to center, even weight, unplug your stick and rise. Nicely done, good work. C, okay, adjust your masks. <laughs> All right, now we'll go ahead and get down to the ground into our half kneel. We can put our sticks off to the side. Good. All right, we're gonna open up our hip flexors. So you can use your stick for balance if you need it, but I like to just place both palms. I have my left knee up, right knee is down. I like having both palms just resting gently on that left knee as I slide forward. And I'm thinking neutral spine here because in order to stretch these hip flexors, you know, they're the it's the great jackknife muscle. So I have to keep my spine away. If I lean forward, then I'm not actually really stretching that as much as I want to be. Good, just leaving that leg behind. Good, come back up. Give it a little break. If you want to, I like to do this a lot in Pilates where I just massage the front of that hip a little bit, let it go soft. And then I'm gonna slide into it again. Good, now I'm gonna take my left elbow and I'm gonna plant it on the inside of my left leg and I'm gonna rotate, I'm gonna extend my right arm and I'm pressing my elbow on the inside of my thigh just to give myself a little bit of tension on my inner thigh. You can press it open, it's not gonna go very far but you will feel that tension. And I'm forcing myself into a little rotation as my right arm reaches in parallel, back to, toward that wall. Good, and then come back to center, nicely done. Okay, now go ahead and extend that left leg. So it's laying out there dead. Here's where your yoga blocks will be useful if you want arm lengtheners. Make sure that leg is nice and dead, quad is quiet, draw in that belly button. Exhale as you start melting toward that thigh. Reaching for your blocks, reaching for the ground. Making sure that you're square. So your headlights on your shoulders and hips are pointed forward. Planting your palms as you're able. And exhale as you lengthen your hips away from your knees, your knee. Single. Good, nicely done. Good, and rise, draw that heel back. Good, okay, from here, we're just gonna switch legs. Ooh, I can feel that all the way to my glute, okay. All right, so now half kneel with right knee up, left knee down, hip flexor stretch. So gliding forward, opening up. Being mindful of a neutral, tall spine. So if you wanna push your spine up and away gently, draw that belly button in as you do so.
If you can, that sensation of leaving your left leg behind. And pressing back up to center. And then we'll go down into it one more time. Exhale, soften, sliding forward. Good breaths. Now take that right elbow, plant it or your forearm on the inside of that right knee. And you're gonna add pressure. It's gonna support your rotation, but also opening up the inner thigh and take that left arm and extend it out in a way as you twist and reach for that back wall. Good, and then release, come back to center, press up back into your neutral half knee, half kneel, and then extend that right leg. Good, find your balance. Okay, release that quad. I don't know. You know, it's, well, you know, the good bad part about those tamales is they have cheese in them, so Kevin can't have any. <laughs> They're all mine. Good, bad, bad for him, good for me. <laughs> all right, melting into your hamstring stretch. Sundays is traditionally Mexican food day, so. So I'm guessing I'll be putting on a pot of beans. Uh huh. Ooh. Wow. Well, that's good. Benjamin and Nicholas are supposed to be going to the food bank today. Here at 11. Christie's, yes, to volunteer. Yes. <laughs> Nicely done. Okay, draw that heel back. All right, now we're gonna go into James's favorite. So we're gonna take this into pigeon. So, no, I wasn't being facetious. <laughs> All right, now we're into our tabletop position. Knees under hips, wrists under armpits. Slide that right knee forward up toward the right hand. Slide the left leg back. And hopefully you can comfortably get it back far enough so you can readily move that right foot up toward the left hand. Okay, crossing, crossing, keeping it comfortable for your knee. Okay, and then with your wrist still aligned underneath your shoulders, we're gonna slowly lower our torso down onto our elbows, okay? Now in this position then I want you to, before you go any deeper, release all those areas where you're gripping. Okay, so traditionally we're over gripping into that leg that's extended long behind us. So take a moment, release that knee, soften. All right, now you're probably feeling a good stretch in that right glute. And that's what we wanna really feel, emphasize, lengthen. All right, so then as you're able, you can remove your finger, your elbows from the mat, extend them out in front letting the full weight of your torso come to rest on that right leg. And it's providing a little more pressure and stretching in those deep glute muscles. Let your forehead come to rest on the mat. Check back in with your left leg, make sure it's not gripping. And then take enough, uh, several rounds of gentle, long breaths.
Good, then you can slowly start sliding your hands back under your shoulders and press your torso up and away. All right, then slide that right leg back and position yourself back into tabletop. All right, now let's slide the left knee up toward the left hand. Slide the right leg back and sneak that left foot across as far as you're able to, right? I don't want any knee pain in there, but we do want to alter that position a little bit to get a better angle on those glute muscles in your left butt. Okay, All right now, slowly dropping down to your elbows and pausing to relieve your tensions, your fears, your grips. And then as you're able, we're gonna extend those arms, letting your chest come to rest on that left leg, forehead to the ground. Good breaths here. Nicely done, then slide the hands back under the shoulders, press the palms into the ground, moving your torso up and away. Good, and then we're back into our tabletop position. Okay, from here, let's go ahead and get our yoga straps. Okay, so I shall go find my yoga strap. <laughs> Darn it. Okay. All right. So before you do any work here, remember we wanna be flat on the ba our backs and as relaxed as we can be. So pause just a moment. You can have your foot already laced in the strap but let your legs go dead. Now I have my right leg in the strap. The straps are in both hands. And I'm going into my core centric breath pattern, okay? So inhaling through my nose, feeling my rib cage expand exhaling out my mouth and feeling my low belly contract and drop toward my spine. And on my next exhale, I'm gonna initiate my exhale and then begin pulling my leg up off the ground. So right now I'm working my right leg. Okay, so I've got it in a position where it's lifted, but I'm not really stretching it yet. So I have my elbows into my rib cage and I have a nice grip on both ends. And then I'm gonna stay with that core centric breath pattern, exhaling and releasing, focusing on contracting through my low belly and then slowly contracting through my biceps to add more length into my hamstring. Good, think soften, soften, soften. Then when you find that position where you're starting to feel a little bit of tension, but not pain, pause there and cycle through some of that breath work.
Good. And then after three rounds of breath, start releasing the leg, slowly lowering the angle about, depending on how deeply you get, 18 to 24 inches. And then for the right leg, we're gonna transition both straps into the left hand and place the right palm down by the hip and internally rotate. So crossing, but releasing in the quad, you're internally rotating. So right big toe is kind of pointed diagonally towards your left shoulder. And then slowly begin pulling upward toward that left shoulder, but trying to stay soft in that right glute. Focusing on that stretch in the outer hamstring. But stay soft in the glute. Keep your hips down. Let them be heavy without clenching. Good. Then release a little bit. Just do some ankle circles in this position. Good. Okay, draw your knee to your chest. Align your knee straight up toward the ceiling again. And then we're gonna lengthen that leg one more time. And we're gonna let it fall back to the left, crossing the belly button, but I'm gonna hang onto the straps now with my right hand. So my right shoulder is gonna, right shoulder blade, right lat are gonna be down and try to help control this a little bit, staying soft in the glute. And I'm trying to focus on releasing through my right butt. So you may feel it in your outer hamstring, but where I want to be feeling it more so is a release in my right butt or a stretch in my right butt. Good, find that position and then pause there for just a moment, a couple cycles of breath. Good, then bend the knee, draw it into the chest. All right, and then we'll switch feet. Okay, so right leg is extended out on the mat. Lower that left leg, straps are back in both hands. Let that left leg go dead into the strap. Go to sleep. And then with your breath pattern, exhale and begin stretching, drawing that foot up the ceiling. Good. With each exhale, advancing that stretch just a little bit, but releasing into it. <sighs> Holding here for three rounds of breath. <sighs> and then slowly lowering that 18 to 24 inches. Good, and now the outer hamstring. So grasping the straps into the right hand, internally rotating. So left big toe diagonally crossing toward the right shoulder. Pause, release that left glute. And then slowly begin pulling.
Good, taking a bend of the knee, drawing it to the chest, realigning that knee straight toward the ceiling, right above your belly. Okay, we'll take the straps into the left hand, straighten that right, or straighten that left leg again, right palm on the ground, leg is dead in the strap and slowly crosses the belly button. Targeting that left glute. It crosses the body, let that left glute be heavy and sleepy. Good, now draw it back over the chest, bend the knee, and then take that right leg and position the right ankle over left knee. Hand straps are back into both hands. Rest your torso comfortably on the ground. Right elbow pressing open that figure four. Gentle bend in that left knee. And exhale as you slowly begin pulling that figure four back towards your chest. You should be feeling this in your right glute as that right lat, the right elbow is pressing open that knee. Again, exhale and soften, exhale and soften. Good, release the tension, lengthen that left leg, exchange. So right leg goes long into the strap, left ankle crosses over right knee, right knee bends, hand straps in both hands, relaxing the torso, left elbow into left knee. And exhale and soften, begin pulling that right knee in towards your tor torso, torso stays back, left elbow, left lat opens up that left figure four, left glute. Good, now release that tension. You can release the straps. So my right, my left knee is over my right. So that means those legs are falling over to the right side of the ground. So let them fall gently to the ground. Once they reach the ground, try and lengthen that right leg so it's out of the way. Because that left knee, you want to release it as far as you can in toward the ground. Your arms are teed out. Your right hand can be pressing gently down on that left knee. The left arm is teed out from the shoulder, palm up to the ground. Trying to get your arm into a position where that left shoulder blade, shoulder blade can fall comfortably into the mat. So nice rotation. And exhale into your core centric breath pattern. Allow that contraction through your transverse, your low belly. Allow that to lead into a release in your low back and glute. Good, now release that right or left knee. Roll your hips back to neutral. So you're back to kind of our stargazer pose. 
Now cross right knee over left and let them fall gently toward the left side of your body. Once you've kind of released as you like, extend that left leg so it's straight. And right knee has an unimpeded uh, path to the ground. Just a little bit of help with that left hand. Pressing down, right arm is extended out from the shoulder. Heavy right shoulder blade. Exhale into your low belly, releasing the low back, releasing the glute. Excellent. Now left hand releases the right knee. And you can roll yourself back to stargazer, extend the legs and breathe as you gaze up or eyes closed at the ceiling, relaxing through your shoulders. Nicely done. All right. Well, thank you everybody for joining me for class today. I hope you have a great Sunday. We'll see you next time. Bye.